Hello viewers, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure FTD data interface using Fire Power Device Manager. I'll proceed to log into the FDM by browsing to 192.168.20.20. That is the management IP address of the Fire Power Threat Defense. It is also important to know that this is going to be the first login into the file power device manager and it's going to prompt me to make use of device setup wizard i'm going to skip the device setup wizard and i'll be prompted to enable 90 day evaluation license which I will confirm. Now on the left hand side, you can see the interface tab. I'll just click on the view button and it's going to display all the interfaces that are available on the file path thread defense. You can see gig 00 and gig 01 have been pre-configured as outside and inside respectively. So I will edit the gig 00. I'm going to name it in. That's IN. And the IP address type is going to be static, of course. I'll navigate to my topology to check the IP address and that should be 10.10.20.20. .10 .20 .20. And the prefix length will be 24. I'll click OK, but one thing you should note is that for the interface name, it's not going to allow uppercase. So that's that. It won't allow uppercase, so make sure it's all in lowercase. And I will uncheck the enable for HA monitoring. We are not implementing HA for now, so that won't be needed. So next, I'll edit Gigabit and 01. Is going to be named DMZ. Don't forget all lowercase. The IP type is going to be static also, which will be 10.10.30.20. We already have a pre configured IP, which we are going to change. And we also have a pre configured GCP pool. And mind you, we are putting a new static IP, which is different from the subnet which we have for the pre configured GCP pool. So there's going to be an issue there. So it's either you edit the GCP pool or you delete it. So I'm not going to edit it. I'll just delete the GCP pool because I, I don't need that. So under advanced option, I'll disable the HA monitoring and I'll click OK. Now I'll move to the next interface, Gig02. I'll click on the edit icon. I'll name it out and the IP address will be 192.10.10.20 and it's going to be slash 24. Under advanced options, I will check the enable for HA monitoring and I'll click on OK. That is done, but I'm yet to enable the interface. So which I can do from here. And I can also click on the edit icon. I can do it from status. Now I'm going to disable the interface and click OK. And I will enable it back from here, which is fine. So that's all. I'll proceed to deployment and I'll click on the deployment icon. And it's going to display the pending changes. But because this is the first deployment ever, you also be seeing some system default configuration changes. That's all we are seeing here. So I'll click deploy. So that's fine. Okay, done. You can click on deployment history just to see what and what configuration changes have been pushed to the FTD, which you are going to see from here. You can also click on differences view 
you are going to see all the system default configuration that was put because it's first time and you can also click on download configuration and get device configuration it's going to download um, a notepad it's going to generate the configuration changes in notepad and it's going to be in JSON format so I'll click that it's going to download the config text which is a text file in there you see all the configurations both the system default configuration that was pushed because this is the first configuration deployment ever and our configuration changes of course the interface configuration changes are also included but any other configuration deployment after this there won't be any system default there anymore it's just going to be the customized configuration alone so you can see my own configuration changes for in dmz and out you can see the interfaces there gig 000102 you can see the monitoring that was disabled and if you scroll to the right you can also see the ip address 10.10.20 and you can see the net mask also, and that's all. So that should tell you that our configuration have been deployed. And I'll click the, okay, I can expand. You can see the configuration have been deployed. I will also click the FTD CLI. Yeah, CLI console you can also bring it up from the FDM. And I will float the console. Okay, that's fine. So I can also access the console from here. That's what you are seeing. So I'll run some commands like show interface IP brief. You are going to see the IP configurations that we've implemented. Show name if is going to show the logical namings that we have on the interfaces and show run interface that's show running dash config interface that will show you the overall interface configuration yep that's it you can see the gig zero zero you can see the name if which is in you can see the ip address which was configured also and you can see for the rest of the interface also so now I'm going to run a ping test to the directly connected neighbors. So I'll, on the inside, I'll ping 10.10.20.1, that's fine. On the DMZ, I'll ping 10.10.30.1, that should be fine also. Excellent. On the outside segment, I'll ping 192.10.10.1. And that should be fine also. And that's it.